My name is Catherine Taracha. I work for Kenya Agriculture and Livestock Research Organization, where I head the Biotechnology Center. Now, potatoes are very important in this country. Potato is the second most important food crop in Kenya after maize. And potato production is very high in Kenya, but it has several constraints. And the most important is a fungus-like organism that affects potato and actually melts, makes it wilt. The organism affects potatoes and the disease is called late blight. What happens is the, the plant actually shrivels up and dies, becomes dark in color and actually dies. There are 1.17 million farmers growing potatoes and of these 1.14 are the small scale farmers that grow potatoes on 0.5 of an acre. The rest are the large scale potato growers. And these potato, uh, potato farmers are affected by this disease in such a way that they have to spray between three to four sprays and sometimes 30 sprays to actually get any production. Of course, this uh, affects them economically. The production is down. And of course, the effects of fungus on the environment. The fungicides will affect small organisms, small animals and fish. Now we are here with our potato, which is resistant to uh, late blight. These potatoes are very effective and if, the farmer, if this uh, uh, potato is then given to the farmer, it will reduce spraying by about 90%. That means there will be increased production, increased food uh, security and the farmer will also have economic growth in terms that there will be more money in his pocket and of course it will be environmental friendly because less fungicides are being applied.